Whether you're a beginner starting out in Chinese archery, or an experienced archer looking to refine your technique, practicing at the Gao Jin, or Short Range Practice Veil, is a good way to develop good form without the distraction of trying to hit a long range target. Practicing at the Gao Jin is central to Gaoying's Ming military archery style. Gao Jin means straw anvil in Chinese. Traditionally, these were tightly packed cylinders of hay that were used as practice bales. In Japanese, this would be known as the makiwara. Now, it's perfectly acceptable to use a gaudron made of modern materials. In this case, my gaudron is made of a dense foam, and behind it, I put extra layers of cardboard tightly packed together. This is to the extra backstop, just in case the arrow happens to penetrate through the main bale, you know, due to wear and tear from regular practice. Now, at that point, you might consider replacing the entire bale, or just the center core insert. It really depends on how the bale is designed. Um, it's an expense I don't personally mind, because when I'm investing in a target, I'm investing in my personal archery development. For setup, you only need to stand one and a half to two meters away from the bale. I prefer to set up the bale at shoulder height, because it's conducive to good shoulder technique. And when you take the shot, you want the arrow to land as straight as possible. If it lands with a sideways deviation like this, or this, then that usually indicates a problem with arrow tuning, or a problem with your release technique. Usually it's a problem with your release. Unless you're shooting at different spots on the target, I recommend limiting yourself to one arrow per end. So after you shoot one arrow, pull it from the bale. Because if you're trying to shoot two arrows at the same spot, then destroying your arrow like this is actually not that impressive, especially at this distance. Now it's still possible to practice aim and estimation at the Gao Jin. Just pick little spots at the target to aim at. Here, I've marked them with pink tape. Take a closer look. If you practice exclusively pulling and shooting with your strong hand, then your posture might become a little imbalanced. To balance things out, practice shooting with your weak hand. Start with a very light bow, because the first time you do this, the coordination is going to feel very, very strange. So start light, and then gradually increase the draw weight so that you can reach your normal shooting weight. The Ming Dynasty author and archery teacher Gao Ying used to say that one day at the Gao Jin is equivalent to 10 days at the outdoor range. That is, with the Gao Jin, you can get a high number of high quality reps in a shorter period of time compared to shooting outdoors. Now, that's not to say that Gao Jin practice is a substitute for outdoor shooting. You know, the eventual goal should be to go outdoors and shoot longer distances. But still, Gao Jin practice itself is foundational for developing your form and your physical conditioning. Now getting high quality reps is the key, because if you do a lot of low quality reps, then you're going to make your form very bad very quickly. So instead, with Gaudrum practice, this is your opportunity to slow down, to be deliberate, and to develop your form so that every shot you do, you're going to hold yourself to a high standard. Thanks for listening, and until next time, have fun practicing.